Good morning and welcome to the Hampton City Schools Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I am Diana Galata, Executive Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Hampton City Schools, and I am very proud to serve as the MC today. This is one of my favorite events of the year because we are celebrating the role models in each of our schools. Uh, for the Citizen of the Month, uh, we're looking forward to continuing this uh, tradition with you all. It's such a great event. It's great to see uh, smiling faces out there. This is, you know, pretty impressive. Uh, I work with a lot of school systems uh, around the state, and you all have a program with I mean, the number of folks that are here and recognized. I think it's pretty much unsurpassed uh, in the state of Virginia. So congratulations to the school uh, and to the students, but most importantly, congratulations to the students for making it here. Um, I would love to see you again next year, so make sure you get here again next year for the luncheon. Uh, it's a great recognition, and congratulations on uh, all of you out there that have been recognized as a Citizen of the Month, and thanks again. I would now like to introduce Karen Ori, Manager and CEO of the Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union. Good morning, still morning. Um, I am, as she said, I'm Karen Ori. I'm the manager and CEO of the Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union, which I've been for the past 29 years. Um, I'm also a byproduct of Hampton City Schools, so I came back to work here. Um, I went to Whiff Elementary, Lindsay Middle School, and, Hampton, and a graduate of Hampton High. Um, first, I want to say, as the Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union, everyone in this room is eligible to open an account. I do a lot of career fairs and I tell all the young people that all of you could be a millionaire one day if you start now. So just like all of you are here because you are good citizens, um, pretty much everything that you do and do well, in order to do it well, you have to have discipline. So discipline of money, like you know, discipline to save some of it, not spend it all. Also discipline when you're doing your schoolwork or when you're um, going around your school and the teachers and administrators are taking notice that you are you know, being a good citizen, whether it's helping another student or just really just doing what you're supposed to do. So today I congratulate all of you and um, like it was said, a good citizen is not just in school, it's everywhere you go, whether you're you know, in the mall, wherever you go, because you never know who's watching you. And also, you know, when you always do what you're supposed to do, then you never know who's watching, who might, um, present an opportunity to you to do more things and better things and go higher places. So I just want to say congratulations on behalf of the Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union, and we're glad to be able to be a sponsor today. Thank you. And of course, last but not least, Crystal Ford, who is the president of the Hampton Association of Educational Office Professionals, um, is also coming forward because they are also a sponsor. Good morning. It is an honor to be here. My name is Crystal Ford. I am the president of HAEOP, and we like to do whatever we can to serve the students and the community for Hampton City Schools. Um, it is our honor to be able to sponsor you all this year for Citizen of the Month. Our organization does whatever we can. We sponsor different events throughout the year, different um, baskets, different opportunities for students. So it is just completely my pleasure to be here with you all. I have brought some members with me here today. If you all can help me in congratulating these nominees for today, I would greatly appreciate it. HAEOP members. And I just want to say again, congratulations and thank you.
And thank you very much to our sponsors. And let's go ahead and have lunch. And we'll reconvene in about 30 minutes. Hello, my name is Anasia Curry Sanders. Hello, my name is Brianna Tyler. Hello, my name is Deasia Curry. Hello, my name is Honesty Lindsay. And, and we, we attend, attend Aberdeen Elementary, Elementary School. School. Hello, my name is Dan Elliott. Hello, my name is Darlene Lewis. Hello, my name is Khalil Waters. Hello, my name is Samuel Simmons. And, and we, we attend, attend Lindsay Middle School. School. Hello, my name is Tanea Carroll. Hello, my name is Ayana Council. Hello, my name is Trinity Buckler. Hello, my name is Memory Domain. Hello, my name is Quan Wyatt. And we are Hampton High School. Hello, my name is Keyshawn Howard. Hello, my name is Trayvon Baldwin. Hello, my name is Jamal Barrett. Hello, my name is Kenneth Teron Taylor. And we are Hampton High School. Hello, my name is Brown White. Hello, my name is William Jackson. And we are Bridgeport Academy. Hello, my name is Brian Wilson. Hello, my name is Brian Wilson. And we are Hampton High School. Hello, my name is Brian Haywood. Hello, my name is Richard Ayers. Hello, my name is Sadiah Cross. Hello, my name is Kenneth Mitchell. And we, we attend a Burbank, Burbank Elementary, Elementary School. Hello, my name is Ariana Babers. Hello, my name is Amira Smooth. Hello, my name is Donovan Harden. Hello, my name is Ian Wayne. And, and we, we all attend Cooper Elementary, Elementary School. Hello, my name is Mira Toby. Hello, my name is John Hello, my name is Winnie Chen. Hello, my name is Sarah Stone. Hello, my name is Jess Cecil. Hello, my name is Kyle Wolski. And we attend Jones Magnet Middle School. Hello, my name is Jade Gaines. And hello, my name is Madison Gentry. Hello, I'm Kayla And we attend Phillips Elementary School. Hello, my name is Jeremiah. Hello, my name is Taylor Lauren. Hello, my name is Emily Lucas. Hello, my name is Hanada Hassan. And we all attend Mason Elementary School. Hello, my name is Madison Bailey. Hello, my name is Olivia Harrington. Hello, my name is Taya Coates. Hello, my name is Joseph Messing. And we are Taya Hello, my name is Hannah Malinowski. My name, hello, my name is Wakamu. Hello, my name is Najima. Hello, my name is Jojo Lee. And we are Taya Hello, my name is Chosen. Hello, my name is Chosen. Hello, my name is Amelia Medigan. Hello, my name is Isabella Marquez. Hello, my name is Ryan Major. My name is Nazia Shroff. My name is Emily Brett. My name is Adriana Felder. My name is Latara King. My name is Jacob Summers. And we are the Davis School. Hello, my name is Ali is Aaliyah Jordan. My name is Destiny My name is Serenity Sawyer. My name is Kiara Sawyer. And we attend Tyler Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kendall Williams. Hello, my name is Nyla Cole. Hello, my name is Jerome Clark. Hello, my name is Zoe Dillard Smith. And we attend Asbury School. Hello, my name is Andrew Anderson. Hello, my name is Natalie Para. Hello, my name is Samaya McKeachin. Hello, my name is Henry Gallagher. Hello, my name is this is Joshua Cox. And we attend Spratly Gifted Center. Hello, my name is Ayat Bumadi. Hello, my name is Rhiannon Shaw. Hello, my name is Jalen Evelyn. Hello, my name is Joshua Boyer. Hello, my name is Caitlin Snap. And we attend Spratly Gifted Center. Hello, my name is Colby Smith. Hello, my name is Alexis Clark. And we attend Sims Middle School. Hello, my name is Andrew Cannon. Hello, my name is Zoe Alt. Hello, my name is Hannah Hudson. Hello, my name is Scala Alexander. And we, and we all attend to Booker Elementary School. Hello, my name is Judah Brown. Hello, my name is Mary Susan. Hello, my name is Leah Jenkins. Hello, my name is Emily Benitez. And we, and we attend Massa Elementary School. Hello, my name is Joseph Ayers. Hello, my name is Sarah Alley. Hello, my name is India Ely. Hello, my name is Jalen Sedgwick. And we attend Barron Elementary School. Hello, my name is Francisco Ramos. And my name is Amanda Shahat. And we, we attend, attend from Craft Elementary School. Hello, my name is Deja Moore. Hello, my name is Timothy Swaitu. Hello, my name is Kenny Hello, my name is Nick Baker. Hello, my name is Trinice Price. Hello, my name is Nina Patterson. And, and we, we attend Andrews School. 
Hello, my name is Sania Pitt. Hello, my name is Lana Viscalia. Hello, my name is Joaquin Timms. Hello, my name is Kira Williams. And, and we, we attend Smith Elementary School. Hello, my name is Emma Hamm. Hello, my name is Olivia Fox. Hello, I am Xavier Bowen. Hello, my name is Lauren Valoria. Hello, my name is Barry Benish. Hello, my name is Muhammad Sazuma. And, and we attend E Middle School. Hello, my name is Courtney Wilson and I attend Sprout Lake Gifted Center. Hello, my name is Heath Lee. Hello, my name is Brianna Pittman. Hello, my name is Brendan Kibler. Hello, my name is John L. Smith. Hello, my name is Darian Chandler. And, and we, we attend, attend Bethel, Bethel High, High School. School. Hello, my name is Aja Evans. Hello, my name is Kyle Carson. Hello, my name is Ola Ademiduro Easter. Hello, my name is Michaela Bowers. Hello, my name is Alexandria Demons. And, and we, we attend Phoebus High School. Hello, my name is Fire Fuller. Hello, my name is Kalia Song. Hello, my name is Tan Stanford. Hello, my name is Tanaya Doxon. And we attend Bryan Elementary. Hello, my name is Tony Parker. Hello, my name is Kelly Jones. Hello, my name is Jelana Williams. Hello, my name is Thurston Tiny. Hello, my name is Layla Brown. And we are the Phoenix Gamers. Hello, my name is Jalen Dawson. Hello, my name is Anvil. Hello, my name is William Oxford. Hello, my name is Joshua Holland. Hello, my name is Naomi Ornelas. And we attend Phoenix School. Hello, my name is Lawrence Renee. I think your other one is already here. Hello, my name is James Coyne. Hello, my name is Molly Hanson. Hello, my name is Nehemiah Garrison. And we attend Armstrong Elementary. Hello, my name is Kyle Faden and I, and I attend Kikatan High School. My name, hello, my name is Eliana Jefferson. Hello, my name is Ty Huffman. Hello, my name is Armani Sloan. And we, and we attend Tucker Caps Elementary School. school. Hello, my name is Daniel Prasad. Hello, my name is Radia. And we, we attend Forest Elementary School. Good afternoon. I hope you enjoyed your lunch. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. It is my pleasure today to introduce our guest speakers. They are the valedictorians of our four high schools. They have the, t the highest um, GPA in the graduating class at their high school. Let's give them a round of applause for that. <laughs> Rachel Dobbins is the valedictorian at Bethel High School. She is joined today by her principal, Ralph Saunders. Go ahead and come on up, Rachel. Rachel's grade point average is 4.51. She's the editor-in-chief of the award-winning Polaris Literary, Literacy Magazine. She's also involved in marching and symphonic bands and Girl Scouts. She has been accepted to attend the College of William and Mary and Spelman College. Are you still undecided or have you picked one? She is going to go to the College of William and Mary. She would like to major in, now listen to this, neuroscience and biochemistry and eventually become a neurosurgeon or neuroscience researcher. So it is my pleasure to introduce Rachel. Hello. Oh, goodness. <laughs> How are you guys? Everyone good? Um, so I'm going to take, give a speech today about perfection. Perfect is an adjective meaning having all the required or desirable elements, qualities, or characteristics as good as it is, as good as it is to possible to be. Now, who do you guys think of when you hear the word perfect? Yell out some names. Ryan. <laughs> Anybody else? Maybe, yeah, just, just yell it out. Ooh. Anybody else? Me. You? You think you're perfect? That's, that's, yeah. So when I think of the word perfect, I always thought of uh, princesses and superheroes. And I will tell you right now, none of them are perfect. They're great people, but they're not perfect. Perfect doesn't exist, not even in fairy tales or superhero comic books. 
I always dreamed of being like Mulan, who is my favorite Disney princess, though Sleeping Beauty is pretty cool too. Um, she's beautiful and she's brave and she's strong and she's a great fighter. Um, so she was perfect to me as a child. Uh, I've grown up a bit since then, though I still, still watch Disney movies. On Sunday, I was binge watching and I watched Mulan and Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella because that's what I like to do with my free time. Um, and then I realize now that Mulan and Jasmine and Aurora and all my favorite Disney princesses are imperfect. Uh, Mulan, in the beginning of her movie, is clumsy and forgetful. Uh, she drops a teacup and has chickens chasing her around in the beginning. And Ariel is too curious about what's up there and doesn't appreciate how much her family loves her. Cinderella doesn't have the courage to stand up to her evil stepmother. And Elsa doesn't believe in herself and doesn't, think, doesn't accept herself for who she is with her powers. And all of these things make them human. And throughout all these Disney movies, each of these heroines learns in her own way that it's, it is okay to be imperfect and that it's possible to be flawed and happy. And not to neglect the superheroes, they have their faults too. I love Iron Man just as much as the, the rest of us. But he has a temper and he thinks a little too highly of himself. Captain America's just a tad naive and Spider-Man's cocky and, and Hulk has anger issues. <laughs> and, and Thor is a bit immature, but they're still awesome and they still save the world. And any mistakes that they make don't take away from that. All of this is to say that perfection is not necessary to be good. I'm a good person. You all are good people. I mean, you're citizens a month. And none of us are perfect, and that is fine. So I'll leave you with the words of William Wordsworth, a famous English poet, who said, the best portion of a person's life is not his quest to be perfect, but his little, nameless, unremembered acts of kindness and love. Thank you. Good job, Rachel. We think you're pretty close to perfect. We do have a gift for you. I hope you like chocolate. Okay. See why she's a valedictorian, huh? Okay, now we're going to move on to Hampton High School. Judy Chin is the valedictorian at Hampton High School. She's joined by her principal today, Tiffany Hardy, who is the principal of instruction at Hampton High School. Come on up, Judy. Her GPA is 4.66. Judy's a member of the Spanish Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, National Honor Society, and National Art Honor Society. She's a senior class officer and volunteers at the YMCA, Hampton Public Library, and Immaculate Conception Catholic Church. She was accepted to attend University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, Virginia Commonwealth University, and the College of William and Mary. She will attend the University of Virginia and major in biology. It is my pleasure to introduce Judy Chen. Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Judy Chen and I'm a senior from Hampton High School and I am very honored to speak to all of you today. Uh, so first of all, congratulations to each and every one of you uh, for your selection of, uh, as Citizen of the Month for your school. I am grateful that our school division this recognizes students who uh, demonstrated exemplary characteristics. I've been just where you're sitting now and listened to many great guest speakers talking about good citizenship. But what exactly are the characteristics of like being a good citizen? Well, I am here today to share with you my definition of good citizenship. And for me, uh, to be a good citizen just means uh, to be a good person. So for example, to be a good citizen, you can do things as simple as picking up trash, uh, helping a friend who is um, struggling, and respecting your teachers and peers. Even a small effort can influence and inspire other people to do the same thing. 
So here's the question. What separates you from all your other peers? Is it your grades or the way you dress? No, it is your character that separates you from each other. Character is the qualities that are distinctive to um, an individual, and I am sure that there's something in your character that makes you unique. Everyone is obligated to go to school, but only those with good character will make the experience into a memorable one for themselves and for other people. I know that everyone here has a person who you consider to be a good character. And for me, it's my sister, Nora. My sister graduated from Hampton High School, and she currently attends the University of Virginia as well. And she is my role model. She brightens my day. And sometimes we may have small arguments, but she is the one who inspired me the most. Like my sister, I strive to do what I believe is right every day and try to encourage other people to better themselves and to make the right decisions. Eli Pariser, the chief executive of Upworthy, once said, to be a good citizen, it is important to be able to put yourself in other people's shoes and see the big picture. And if everything you see is rooted in your own identity, that becomes difficult or impossible. Sometimes people have the tendency to think only for themselves because they want to better themselves. But that is okay if you, but it is important to be considerate of other people in the process. I want everyone to know that you're here today because you have demonstrated the characteristics of a good citizen to your teachers and your peers, and that you are the best representation of good citizenship in your school. After today, I encourage you to continue to do what you have done before and model good citizenship for others because the world is in need of good citizens like you. And most importantly, I encourage you to be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you very much. Great job, Judy. You're, wait, wait for your candy here. We will now move on to Kickatan High School. Emily Rhodes is the valedictorian at Kickatan High School, and she is joined by her principal, Mr. Jeff Mordica. <laughs> Emily has a GPA of 4.59 and is, is, is a member of the swim team, sailing team, Cadet Club, National Honor Society, Rho Kappa, Math Honor, Rho Kappa, Math Honor Society, English Honor Society, French Honor Society and Science Honor Society. Is there an honor society you're not in? No, I think she's in all of them. She has been accepted to attend James Madison University, Old Dominion University, University of Virginia, Holland University, and Randolph-Macon College. She plans to attend University of Virginia to study environmental science before joining the Peace Corps. It's my pleasure to introduce Emily Rhodes. First off, congratulations to you all for being chosen as Citizen of the Month. It is my great honor to speak to you today. I'd like to start off by talking about what it means to be a good citizen. It could mean something as little as staying after class for a few minutes to help a teacher straighten up, or something bigger, like taking on a long-term community service project. Regardless of whether it is a great or a small act of citizenship, Somewhere along the way, you have made a positive difference in your school, and I thank you for that. I'd like to share a poem with you by Robert Frost called The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both, and be one traveler long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that passing there, had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. 
two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. This poem means a great deal to me for many reasons. Every day, both in school and in life, we come to a fork in the road. We are faced with choices. Some may seem in insignificant, like who to sit next to at lunch, while others may be more important, such as choosing to help a fellow classmate in need. Each day, as we make these choices, it is essential to understand that following the crowd, it, following the crowd is not always the best thing to do. In some cases, it is better to take the road less traveled by and make your own decisions. As a good citizen, taking the road less traveled by isn't always easy. Doing the right thing often involves making hard choices. Being honest, taking responsibility for your actions, and being a leader are all important ways of taking the road less traveled by. I encourage each of you to take this road, and I promise, if you do, it will make all the difference for you too. As you leave this luncheon, remember the following quote from President John F. Kennedy. My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. As you reflect on these words, ask yourself not what your school can do for you, but what you can do for your school. Again, congratulations and best wishes in your very bright futures. Thank you, Emily. And last but not least, we have Matthew Mateo Burt, who is the valedictorian at Phoebus High School. His principal is Mark Hudson. Mateo has a GPA of 4.62 and also attends the New Horizons Governor's School for Science and Technology. He's involved in the Scholastic Bowl, robot Robotics Club, Sailing Team, Math Honor Society, National Honor Society. He's the founder of Thrive Christian Club. He's involved in a NASA mentorship, Liberty Student Ministry Band, and Chi Alpha Student Choir at Liber Liberty Baptist Church. He's also participated in the, in the Peninsula Rescue Mission, Machen Elementary Food Pantry, and in mission trips to the United Kingdom and West Africa. He was accepted to the University of Virginia, the College of William and Mary, University of Richmond, and Liberty University. He will attend University of Virginia, where he plans to study computer science and theology before pursuing a career in pastoral leadership and or computer science. It is my pleasure to introduce Matteo Berg. Good afternoon. I just want to start by congratulating each and every student that was invited to attend this event today. It is no small feat to consistently conduct oneself in a manner worth recognition by such a prestigious occasion and by such prominent school officials. The simple fact that you're invited demonstrates your admirable performance and it is an objective to be striven toward by your peers as well. I just want to start off by uh, asking you a question. So you can just raise your hand and give me an answer. Who is your favorite historical role model? In the back? Those are good ones. Anyone else? That's a good one, too. All right, one more in the back. <laughs> George Washington's a good one. So I want to start by reminding you of one of the greatest minds of the 20th century and one of my personal favorites, Albert Einstein. Not only because he had amazing hair, but also because he had the extraordinary ability to reason and pioneer logical paths to new discoveries of the scientific realm. And though he is remembered best for his work on theories such, of, such as the theory of relativity and the formula such as E equals MC squared, his reflection on how humans should interact and, is, and exist was one of his most esteemed qualities. You see, Albert Einstein was not only an extremely intellectual individual, but he stood out because he understood how to effectively use the knowledge that he possessed. According to Einstein, Wisdom is not a product of schooling, but of the lifelong attempt to acquire it. And though it may not exactly be a lifelong uh, attempt in every aspect, wisdom truly is more than simply the acquisition of information or knowledge. Anyone who genuinely understands this concept is also aware that wisdom is our ability to discern what the ideal course of action would be to take in each and every situation. 
Your presence here today is an indication in and of itself that you already have knowledge of this notion to some degree. But what I want to leave you with at the end of my speech is the full understanding that it takes more than the capacity to multiply large numbers or memorize definitions or even fill in the right bubbles on a Scantron sheet to demonstrate the qualities of a good citizen. So if you aren't the best at something that I just mentioned, then you're still in luck. Because just as success is more commitment than it is talent, to be a fully functioning and upstanding member of the community is a combination of the knowledge that you hold and the willingness to apply that knowledge in order to discern what is right from what is wrong. Furthermore, this cycle is exceptional because it is more synonymous with a spiral than it is with a circle. You see, in a circle, a cycle is really just a series of steps that never progresses past a certain point. But the difference between that sort of concept and how we as humans use knowledge to exercise discernment is found in the experience we have in the fact that in every instance in which we employ our knowledge, we gain experience. And from that experience, we have access to more knowledge with the capability of being utilized to further our wisdom and so on and so forth. And so as that spiral increases, it continues outward and we become closer and closer to what Einstein regarded as perfect wisdom, which in truth is indeed subjective to every person. But as the diameter of that spiral grows, so does the number of lives we touch and the decisions that we make, whether or not they are proper or ill-fitting. Therefore, I urge you to continue on the path that you've already set yourself on and ground yourself in the determination that you've already so commendably maintained to set yourself apart from the people who will tell you that you've already done enough or the people that will tell you that you will never be able to do enough. Because true discernment is understanding that the only actual course of action to take is to do your best in everything that you do. So don't work as if you're only working for man, because wisdom is going the extra mile even after you've accomplished something great. Wisdom is persevering through the times when you want to give up. It is treating everyone with the respect that we all deserve, no matter what the context of the situation happens to be. Finally, wisdom is the continual aspiration upwards and outwards towards bigger and better goals with every passing moment. So use the knowledge that you've obtained to persist in making the right choices, because then your end result will always be your desired result. Thank you. Well, this is the future of our country. I think we're in good hands, Mateo. We can have all of our valedictorians stand up front so we can give you another round of applause. Come on up. Good luck to all four of you. I know that you are going to do good things and hopefully you'll come back to Hampton and do great things here in our own city. Y'all can sit down now, thanks. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our Citizen of the Month luncheon, our last one of the school year. Um, I know you all are just really ready to get back to school. Uh, no. Y'all wanna stay here all day. Thanks again to our sponsors. We would not be able to do this without you. And congratulations to our Citizens of the Month. Shortly, we will dismiss our students by bus number, so uh, be listening for your, your bus number. Also, don't forget your packets, which will include a schedule sharing when this luncheon will air on television. Congratulations again. Have a great afternoon. Yeah.